Hello champions, we got a brand new character coming into the game and no, it's not all of fame Mr. Clean, it's all of fame Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's a trickster, we check his coaching ability at 7k, it's strikers only, reduce the strain of opponent's power gem by 50%, links with other all of fame character and one set of gear. Now he is a trickster, as usual, I don't own him, it was sent to me by Scopely so I can do this preview video, I don't get to keep him, I'll have to earn him, uh, you can earn him part of the event that's going to start today, it is a pay event which you gotta either gather uh, enough ingots to reach a final milestone to get a bunch of shards or actually pull him from the pulls themselves. That's the only way you're gonna be able to get him. So let's get on with the preview itself. So moveset, the first moveset we're gonna have a look at is a moveset that is gonna be for five star only because the Stone Cold Stunner is the five star move. I'll let you guys know uh, every time we do a preview, uh, a preview of a moveset, what rarity you can get that moveset at. This is for five star. So it is a Stone Cold Stunner, 12 MP purple move, finisher deal 104,000 damage, make seven leech gems into blue gems and pin the opponent. The Lutez Press, 9 MP blue move, deal 37.8k damage and choose 7 gems to make into leech gems of strength 14,700. And the Mud Old Stomp, 8 MP blue move, deal 25.6k damage and swap a 3x3 random maria into purple gems. Now the trainers we're going to be using for that, we're going to be using Lawler to start with more blue. Set rolling stuff to have purple gems do 35% more damage. Uh, I believe there's also Rock Trickster that does the same thing. And I think there's another one that I'm like blanking on. But yeah, basically purple gems will do 35% more damage. I am going to be using NW Ogan to get more out of the blue and purple basically and Andrade to have 25% more purple on the gem board. As far as coaches go, it's really open because none of them is really going to be crucial for this. You could use Andre to get more blue. You could use DX Sean to get more purples. I mean, you could use all of Fame Sting to make more blue, uh, to make 5% more damage with the blue and one extra blue gem, although you don't really need the extra blue gem to be eight because you're only making seven seven in the first place could be using all of fame eddie to uh, do more damage with your purples i mean there's a bunch of options I mean, you could be using velveteen dream to limit the submissions i mean none of them is going to be that big of a difference i kind of like to have ogan on almost anyone i use because i like having more mp when i match anything so that's pretty much it for that pretty simple move set uh, as far as what I see here, I haven't tried it yet, but we'll do that together. Basically, you can either make those seven gems into leech and then you put your 3x3 area over it. That would be rather useless at the start of a fight because you wouldn't need any health back. So what I do will probably more be make a 3x3 area first, then I'll place those seven leech gems where I want them. And then with the finisher, I'll make those leech into blue that will reload my moves. That would be the best way to do this. So let's try it. We're gonna try versus All of Fame Booker. I actually spent most of the week unlocking different wings of the uh, of the new uh, the new third and fourth uh, Royal Rumble tours, so that I could have decent opponent to do my previews on and. Uh, Booker is perfect because they're both all of fame, so they got the same bonus. So if we look at the bonus that Booker has, uh, those are his trainers. He's actually going to have improved damage on his power gems as well. His belt gives him 3%, uh, receive 3% less damage from all move. He does plus 20% all gem, plus 20% all gem defense as well. There's the individual buffs by all the medals that he has, which is quite a few. And, well, we don't care about the difference for showboats. As far as the bonus that I have, 15% more health and gem do 15% more damage. That's the feud bonus. He take 10% less damage from all color moves. That's standard. 15% more health. 
All color moves start with plus two MP and matching gives one more MP. That's the uh, MLC bonus. And the rest is the trainers and coaches I got. So he's actually more buff than I am. <laughs> so uh, let's see how that goes versus Booker. Because Booker is a great challenge, really. It's a great character. So. All right, so I don't have a blue match. Doesn't really matter because thanks to the perks, I'm going to have my blue next turn anyway. Uh, I don't have a purple match either. I uh, really don't have much matches here, so we're going to take away his black. gonna get a three by three area of purple gems it did not even end our turn now, unfortunately my other blue is not ready so I can't use those let's get rid of one power gem there So now I gotta place those seven leech gems. I don't really have to bother to try to make uh, matches of five because it's gonna be used by a finisher who's gonna be uh, ending my turn anyway. So I'll try first to get rid of the power gems that remain there. And that will pretty much cover all I had. <laughs> Put it like that. This one won't get uh, affected, but at least it's converted. I got 88k out. He gets out of it, obviously. Refilled my uh, blue though. Hopefully, this will not end my turn. Oh, it really almost did. Okay, and now we're gonna place seven more of those. That's going to cover all of them. And convert them. We got a bunch of health back. It took all his health left, plus did some damage. That turned out pretty good, considering I definitely didn't really have the first good couple turns. Alright, that works well. Let's have a look at uh, something else. There's guys that are synonymous with this industry, and he is in that group. Alright, before we try something else, I actually want to try this against someone else than Booker, just to see, because I did take kind of quite a bit of damage like I think I had like a third of my health missing by the end I'm curious if that was mostly from the power gems 
or just because it took me like two turns to get going. So I'm going to try this against Andrade this time. He has the same setup as far as uh, medals and everything that Booker has, but he won't have those uh, those pesky power gems, but it's still Andrade, which means that he's really fast dishing out a lot of damage as well. So he's not a puny opponent by any means. So uh, let's uh, give that a shot. Still a strong top opponent. Give us a good ID that works. I mean, obviously worked versus Booker, but I want to see if it can work better. Unfortunately, again, we don't have any blue. Uh, we don't have any purple either, so we're definitely not lucky as far as the board goes. Let's take away the black. Not getting a blue match basically slows me for one turn. Because it means that doing this, well in this case, my turn would end anyway. But if the pin bar would be farther away, this wouldn't necessarily end my turn and I could have done both. In this case, didn't change much because would have got a early pin anyway. It's his turn to get an early pin, which is pretty rare for the computer. And let's try to get rid of the gems that he needs. Okay. Let's set up mine. Four. Give us at least three purple with that. Should cover the extra that we need from doing the mine with the blue we'll get. It did a good amount of damage that pretty much refilled my HP as well. And actually won the match. This went a lot better. But again, I mean, I could do this match 20 times and get 20 different results, but this was a much better turn out. I'm happy that we still got to see the first one, though. Let's try something completely different this time. Austin 316 says I just whipped your All right, we're going to have a look at a completely different moveset. This time it's going to be the second purple along with both reds. Uh, this is a move set you can do starting at four star because the reversal is a four star move so it is the million dollar dream 10 mp purple move submission place five sub gems and do 8,000 damage for six turns while submission gems are on the gem board remaining sub gems turn into protect gem of strength 7,000. the reversal 2 mp red move deal 173,000 damage kick out and pin and swap three random green gems to purple gems gems broken during kick out do not have any effect cannot kick out when in danger the knee drop 5 mp red move deals 16,000 damage and gain 5 purple mp fairly easy move set there basically use the knee drop to get your purple uh, drop your submission to have uh, well, first to drop is MP and also to have some protect gem to protect you and the reversal is going to be the main source of damage, but that means that you got to get yourself pinned for that. Trainers we're going to be using is Stain to start with more red and Batista to uh, have red move deal 45% more damage. That means that reversal is going to do almost 252,000, which is Kind of a lot of damage for a reversal. Uh, we're going to stick with Ogin to help reloading those reds and purple. And we're going to add Nikki so that the submission does 50% more damage. I could see also instead of using Batista, you could maybe use Zombie Brock. But I kind of like uh, Batista here since this really revolves about around the reversal. Boosting it seems like the logical choice. Now, I don't know how this is going to go. Personally, 
I have never once had a character that I liked a move that kick out of pin. I usually hate those because that tend to mean that you got to rely on your opponent pinning you in the first place and you got one move you can't use until that happens. Uh, fortunately, the computer sends like kind of seem to always have crazy cascade that get your ass pinned all the time. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we're going to keep going versus Andrade. Uh, he's a character that is fairly fast to use his move, which means we're probably going to be at pin fairly fast as well. Uh, he's pretty buffed up again. We're same talent. So let's see. Looks pretty doable on paper. Again, this is definitely not the kind of move set that I like because I don't like a uh, kick out of pin move, but this one looks like a pretty kick ass one. So I'm curious to see if it's going to go well. And we're going to start by getting our MP. I don't have any purple to start getting that again, so we'll reload the red. I don't have it, but I can just use this again. We're gonna put the sub. He's out of MP. Not destroy any of them. Didn't do much there. No, I don't have any red to match. I do have purple to match. Again, I can't do much and get my purple again. This is definitely more on the defensive side, which is not something I tend to use. And this is exactly what I was afraid of, not getting pinned to use the move. Unless he clears them, that means we're going to have even more Protect Gem to reduce damage now. And so let's get red and purple, apparently. Hey, we're getting pinned. So we're gonna use this. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> right, let's get purple now.
I'm getting pinned by I haven't even had time to reload it. <laughs> um, didn't want to waste the red. Oh, well, this is going to be enough to get out of it because it didn't do any damage. All right, let's get some red. And purple. If he pins me, it's over for him. And he did. He's dead. Now we're gonna kick out Adapt. Don't even need to use that because my submission's ready. And that'll finish him. This is definitely effective, it definitely works, but it's definitely slow and defensive. <laughs> so yeah, it works, but I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of waiting on getting my ass kicked to do something. I'd rather kill them before they can even get a pin. All right, let's, uh, let's have a look at something else. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. All right, this move set is pretty much a variation of the first move set we checked. Uh, this one is going to be using the purple one along with bold blue. Uh, this means that this move set is usable starting at three star instead of five star, like the first move set we checked. So this is going to be the stun gun 11 mp purple move finisher deals 63,000 damage destroy nine random leech gems and pin the opponent the loot has press 9 mp blue move deal 38k damage and choose seven gems to make into leech gems of strength 14,000. the mud old stump 8 mp blue move deal 25.6k damage and swap a three by three random area into purple gems we're going to be using the same trainers we did on the first one, which are Lawler and Seth Rollins. Again, you could use Rock and I never remember who's the other one. Same thing as far as gem damage. Uh, we are going to keep using Ogan to help reload and Andrade to have more purple to begin this. Uh, going to be basically the same thing we did the first time. We're going to uh, use the Mud Old Stomp first to get that purple area, which is obviously going to cut well, hopefully connect on more purple generated by Andrade to begin with. But the difference is that the loot has press when we're going to use that instead of placing it in places that connects with blues. This time we're going to place it specifically on blue so that when the finisher destroy them, it reloads the blue. Hopefully we're going to have seven blue because otherwise that's going to be a problem. But that makes it less reliable, I think, than the uh, first one we checked, but still fairly similar as far as functioning uh, than we did, but much earlier on in this case, because it can be used at three star instead of five star. Uh, maybe down the line, right now there's no trainers that generate more leech gems. Uh, maybe down the line, if there, if there ever is a trainer that increase the amount of leech gem created that could be used instead of set i mean you could always use uh, maybe a trainer that generates more move damage or specifically blue move or purple move or even i think it's zombie page that is both move damage for purple and for blue uh, i mean that could be useful if you face someone that you know uh, beforehand that he's going to reduce a lot of your gem damage you might want to go with move damage instead i kind of still rather go with move damage uh, uh gem damage i mean but eh, whatever all right let's do this versus andrade still all right so i don't have much to work with here. OK, 
Okay, let's get our purple. Unfortunately, I didn't get any blue when this started. That seemed to have been an issue every time I tried this, so maybe I should have swapped Andrade for whoever it is that makes it so that we have more blue when the match begin. That could have helped me more. Uh, so I'm not going to use the finisher right away because I don't have any elite gems to turn. So let's just get rid of those. Uh, we have exactly seven blue right now. So hopefully they're going to remain. Or not. We got six left. Oh, and a seventh that popped up. All right, so we're gonna target the blues. One, two, five, six, seven, and now uh, we'll destroy them. Got 100k out back. He kicked out. Okay, let's get purple. Almost didn't kick out that with the board I had. Okay, let's select the blues. Seven. Let's destroy them. anymore not the fastest definitely worked out pretty good I ended up not losing much out I think that's pretty much it let me just have a look at final look at the moves i'm pretty sure that that's about it i mean you could probably mix and match a couple of the moves and definitely you can use different uh, trainers for sure and coaches but i think that pretty much covers all uh, you can do with him it gives a pretty good idea at least uh, I I'm, I'm not convinced I'd put him as a top tier guy. I'm probably a strong tier two guy, uh, mainly due to the fact that uh, he's really not that fast. Uh, definitely effective though. Uh, and I'm sure he could be made much, much better uh, with a proper metal move set, uh, model, uh, metal and strap set. I mean, uh, But definitely a strong character, that's for sure. But I wouldn't, yet put him as a top tier guy that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys if you're not already a sub uh, a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys geo